we live? We are live. Hello. Hi, everybody. <laughs> it's about nine o'clock, maybe a couple minutes after. We're going to give you a few seconds to get ready. We are ready. Mm -hmm. We have a couple glasses of wine. So cheers, cheers to tonight's conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I am Leslie Hill, the owner of Hill Image. What I do is I work with you on creating your ideal image or your own personal brand. So everybody's always asking me what the hell I'm talking about when I say that. And basically what that means is we create happy closets. So I work with you to get to a point where you can stand in front of a closet, not cry while you're standing there getting dressed for an occasion, and you can leave in the morning feeling good about yourself. You can be at work in front of your neighbors, in front of friends, whoever it may be, and you feel like you're presenting yourself the best possible way to present yourself. So we, I am constantly on here giving you guys as much information as I possibly can because I really want to help with anything you need help with. So tonight we are in Molly Roman's closet and Molly is a life coach. A lot of what I do revolves around how you feel about yourself. So I can help you get to a place with apparel, your hair, your makeup, your words, how you're presenting yourself. I can help you do that, but it won't ever get you to where you want to be unless you're ready to change um, and accept who you are and who you wanna be with. There's all the stuff that goes on on the inside that we need to solidify so that we can present that to the world through the outside. So Molly Roman is a life coach. She has her own business called JMC Coaching. JMC hey. Coaching. <laughs> <laughs> she's written books, she's been featured in a lot of things. She's also right now um, working with the St. Vincent Career Ministry. Ministry. Mm -hmm. And she, so if you're looking for a job, she's the one to get a hold Call of me. over here. But she's phenomenal. I've worked with her several times and actually we do a Monday morning call and she's been on there for multiple times and it's life changing every mm. time. Good. No Good. pressure. Good. Yeah, no pressure tonight. None. And I can tell you that hopefully the coaching is not as well, or hopefully it's better organized than my closet as you can see behind us. So this is completely as is. Mm -hmm. I may give you a couple tips and tricks. But the reason we are featured in the closet and why I like to come, come to you from the closet is because this is our most vulnerable spot in the whole house. This is the spot where when you have company come over, you instantly shove things somewhere and it's usually mm -hmm. right in the closet because who's going to go in there? So yeah. that is Leslie. why. Yeah. Leslie. Me. I did hang up my clothes that were all piled on the seat you're sitting on oh, prior to coming here. Thank that you. Was Everyone has one of those. Yeah. We all have a chair mm -hmm. or a bench or yeah. something. It's true. Mm -hmm. It's helpful. <laughs> so tonight, Molly will basically be taking the reins. I created a little diagram. You'll laugh. It's just me writing in pen and diagram when we were preparing for this. It looks good. But it's... It's basically what I do with my clients in a different manner. So I'm like the life coach of your closet. And Molly, yeah. Molly can do it in real life for, for real problems. Give yourself so, more credit. <laughs> so here is our diagram. We are basically going to be starting at, oh, and I just want to point out my fingernails were done by my five-year-old today. I had a spa day. It was lovely. She actually is this fantastic masseuse. It really? was hilarious. She was rolling her whole body over my legs. That's amazing. And over my back. I was like, oh, I could stay here yeah. all day. All day. So, we're going to start with beliefs. How those affect your thoughts. How those inevitably create your feelings. And then what we do with those feelings. We either create action or we go with inaction. And if we create action, then that takes us to um, new experiences. And with new experiences and learning more about ourselves and all that kind of fun stuff, we create new beliefs. And that's how we can change mm -hmm. our outlook on ourselves. Yeah. So Molly, I know that you've been following some of my posts mm -hmm. and just the feedback and the comments that we've gotten on, on some of these posts. 
often they're saying, maybe they've worked with me and they're like, what is going on? I've worked with you. I've done everything you've told me to do and I still don't feel good about myself. Mm -hmm. There's, there maybe somebody hasn't worked with me and they don't know whether or not to. And so they, everybody in, in essence is standing in front of their closets and they could be sobbing, crying, sure. because they look at a closet full of clothes and they're like, nothing makes me feel good. Mm -hmm. I don't want to put any of this on. I may have stuff hanging here, but I don't feel good about any of it. So then I'm going to go shopping. And then when I'm shopping, I get pissed because I'm putting clothes on and now I'm looking mm -hmm. at myself naked and I don't want to look at myself naked. It's always the mirrors, by the way. It's the store's mirrors. Oh, yeah, it's totally. not your body. And the lighting. <laughs> Horrible. Yeah. Why is it ever a good idea to have mm -hmm. this fluorescent light hanging yeah. down over your head? Or yeah. it's so dark you can't see anything. You're like, oh, I do. I look uh -huh. lovely. Yeah. yeah. And then you always shop at those stores. Yeah. Just so far, yeah. Yes. <laughs> so that's what we're dealing with today. Okay. So if you don't mind, walk us to this. Yeah. Know, this beliefs, <clears throat> creates thoughts, create feelings, and then action. Sure. Items. Okay. So, um... Or do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself before we start? I mean, I hmm. explained a little bit. Mm. What it's totally up to you. We don't have to. Maybe it'll, some. St I might share some stories that might be relevant um, about myself, but I don't, I don't think we need to go there. We can just <laughs> get right into it. Um, okay, fine. That's what everybody's here for. So, um, yeah, so this is really um, what I use for all of my coaching, um, is that our beliefs create our thoughts which impact our feelings and our action or inaction towards our goals. And so what I really like about what Leslie does is that she helps us dress in ways that, excuse me, we may have not dressed before that accentuate the positives and make us feel good in our skin. So then our actions change, right? So maybe someone before they uh, had worked with you, maybe walked into business meetings, kind of cowering, not feeling good about themselves, um, I'm not really sure. Do you oh, that happens all the time. Okay. Actually, right now I'm working with someone and they said, you know, I asked them how the job search was going, what's going on, and hi, Joe. Look at mirror image. It's hard to read. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. Oh, yeah. Mm. Sorry. Didn't think about that. Yeah. Um, but so I'm working with someone right now who said, you know, I, I have good hopes, but I think if I just lose weight, that's when things are going to start happening. Um, I just need to get this under control. And that was something I thought we could address mm -hmm. today. I thought that that's definitely something that happens often. We often think, oh, this is, this is going to happen yeah. once I lose weight. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of the, I'll be happy when, or oh, yeah. life will change when. Um, and so that is... You know, that's part of, you know, I would almost, for that person, especially being a career coach as well, I would ask them to say, what if that isn't it? What if your belief is wrong? So if their belief is people aren't hiring me because of my weight, it could actually, it could stop you from seeing what's actually wrong. So it could be the way you're answering your interview questions or something on your resume. Um, maybe you're not doing thank you cards or making good eye contact or whatever. And so you're not looking at those other areas or improving yourself because you have this very strong belief that it's, um, one specific thing and it could be wrong. Right? Yeah, completely. And then I say automatically, okay, have you gotten the interview? What does your picture look like on your social media? Because you better believe that once people get your resume and they seem interested, they're going out to Google you. So are you, do you have the same photo on every one of your social media platforms? Because then they can see, okay, this, yes, this is her. Oh no, that does, I don't know if that's her or not. Mm -hmm. So they know exactly who you are. That also gives them a face with what, with your experience. So I explain that. But then when people tell me that about their weight, here's a good example. I fluctuate my weight. So high school, I was 66. 60 pounds, I would say. I was like pure muscle, but it didn't seem like it then. Mm -hmm. um, went to college, got, went down to, I, when I say 60, 160. Okay, that's what I thought. I was like, <laughs> you must have been very short. That's very small. Yeah. <laughs> I knew what you meant. Then I went to college, was like 135. Mm. I didn't do anything in particular. I just didn't want to gain that freshman 15. Mm -hmm. So, looking, whatever. Then I looked super skinny. Then... Soft, no, then probably senior year, I was 185, 195. 
and then you know so I am up and down all the time it doesn't matter what size is in my clothes because I'm usually either just popping out of them or they're hanging off of me or they're perfect mm -hmm. I usually honestly don't go too much higher where I can't wear them anymore but it's because <laughs> it gets uncomfortable and then you just yeah, Make then I'm change. like, dang it. Mm -hmm. Or I'm way too cheap to go buy a lot That's more That's what clothes. I am too. I will gain a certain amount of weight. And then as soon as my clothes start fitting, because I have a couple different sizes. Yes. So when my, my largest yes. stops fitting, I think, okay, I got to get something done. Because I don't so want to go shopping. Yes. Yeah. I hear you. Yes. I don't like spending money on clothes. Um, so that, with the woman who is interviewing saying, I think it's my weight. It's not your weight. I promise promise you it's not your weight. It could be that your makeup is needs work or that your hair could use some work or mm -hmm. you need to smile and so people feel more welcome around you. But I am telling you right now that no one is going to look at you if you are well put together and polished and say mm -hmm. you you you're not credible. But if you have accessories, your hair done right, your makeup done for, you know, relatively well, they will be able to look past your weight, everything, and look at um, what you have to offer. And I do know that weightism is a thing, but I am here to tell you that I've seen some gorgeous women at a lot of different weights. So bear with me and just believe me mm -hmm. on this. I'm trying to leave, learn some of these comments. <laughs> Why do other people compliment me on my look, but I feel so crappy about what I'm looking, like how she's looking? Okay, so I would say, uh, without knowing you, um, I'm wondering if your focus might be in the wrong spot. So what we tend to do, and I don't know if it's a woman thing or what, but we're a perfectionist thing, but I can tell you, if somebody said, what would you change about your body? I have a r answer like that. Right? Do you? Do you know what you would change right away? Oh, yeah. yeah. We all know what we would want to change. We all know what we don't like. Um, and that is where I think we tend to focus the most, is what could I change? What could be better? What could be different? What could be smaller? What could be bigger? Um, what, what could be, be higher? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not so long. Thank you, baby. Um, but... I think that's uh, where we tend to focus. And so other people, though, aren't focusing on that. No one, I mean, you know, I was telling Leslie before this, I was like, you know, I've, I've nursed all my kids. They're all three years old or younger. And so that has just been sucking the calories out of my body. And so that's great and everything. But now, like, my boobs are, like, down to my belly button. <laughs> and I won't, like, I wear a bra around my husband all the time. He's like, why are you always, like... You know, yeah, he's like, take it off. Yeah, and it's just mm -hmm. like, but I don't want to because like it's like down no, there, and it's little, little. you know, the, I can really talk that. about this issue for a while. But and you hear that all the time. Yeah, women will say all the time, "Oh, I feel disgusting." Yeah, and their husbands are like, "Uh, could I just please see you naked?" Yeah, please. he doesn't care. Like, I think it's gross, but he thinks it's beautiful. So this says, "I was feeling happy with my body when I was working." out hard and I can't wear those clothes now 15 years later well for one it that seems legit if mm -hmm. you're working out really hard you're probably not going to be wearing the same clothing size or even style things will change your muscles are gonna your muscle tone mm -hmm. will change all that kind Definitely. of stuff it doesn't mean that you're not attractive in your head it might make you unattractive but to the average person, mm -hmm. the only part that will be unattractive will be if you let yourself go. And that goes back to your concept about um, belief goes to thoughts, go to feelings, go to action or inaction. If you go to inaction, that's when you start not caring. That's when you start saying, I just don't want people to see me. So I'm not, I don't mean not caring, I mean not trying. You don't want to blend in. You don't want to be noticeable. You want to sit in the back, just like mm -hmm. you're talking about at the boardroom, whatever it may be. You're trying to not let people see you. Everyone sees you. And now you've become more timid. So now you look maybe not as credible and you're sitting in the back. So that makes you extremely not as credible. So you mm -hmm. won't get promoted when you want to be promoted. You won't have the credibility that others think.